Microsoft helps you take communication to the next level by breaking down any language barriers that exist between yourself and your colleagues, your clients, or your vendors. This video will focus on three ways that Microsoft helps you communicate with others who do not speak the same language as you. First, if you're using Microsoft Teams, there's a built-in translator in the application. If English is not someone's primary language, they can type their message to you in their native language. When the message is received, select the ellipsis and choose Translate. The message will be translated into your team's default language. This icon will appear on the message letting you know the message has been translated. You can always select the ellipsis again and choose See Original Message to undo the translation. In addition to written translations, you can also translate calls and meetings that you're in in Microsoft Teams. There are over 80 languages available for written text translations, with an additional 14 that can be heard with audio. With your call initiated, open your browser and visit translator.microsoft.com. Select the tab that's titled Start Conversation and choose the Microsoft icon. Now sign in using your Microsoft credentials. Enter your name in the field labeled Your Name and select your preferred language in the Your Language menu. Choose Enter. Your session is going to begin and you'll be provided with a conversation code as well as a QR code. You can share this code with the participants of this meeting who may require a translator. You can do this through the conversation pane of your original call in Teams or by sharing your screen. When the meeting participants join your conversation, you can all speak freely in your preferred language and Microsoft will act as a translator, typing the translation out to help you keep the conversation going comfortably. You can select and hold the microphone icon to have your words translated in the app, or press and hold the spacebar as you speak. If you're going to be speaking continuously and you don't want to hold that microphone or spacebar, toggle on presenter mode and you can speak continuously while being translated. When you're done speaking, toggle this feature off to prevent picking up any background noise. While you're in this space, you can select the gear icon to access your settings. This is going to allow you to toggle on features such as play speech out loud to have your content read out loud. And as a reminder, this feature is available in 14 languages. You can also mute all the participants in the conversation or lock the conversation to prevent new users from joining. Use this slider to increase the font text in the translator. Select this button to save a copy of the transcript once the meeting has concluded. And lastly, you can use this icon to exit the application when your meeting or audio call has ended. Lastly, the Microsoft Translator app is available on your desktop, allowing you to easily translate written word to help you compose messages. Search Translator on your desktop to launch the application. From the Translate tab, you can use this dropdown to set the language you'd like to translate from and this dropdown to select the language you'd like to translate to. Now you can type out what you'd like translated or use the open icon to insert a document that you may need translated. You can input content up to 10,000 characters long. The translation will appear here in this field. Above that field, you can select the listen icon to hear the translation spoken. This icon is available in 14 languages. Highlight a specific word and choose dictionary to see the meaning of that specific word from your translation. 
You can also choose copy if you'd like to copy and paste this translation into a document, into an email, or into an application such as Microsoft Teams. You can pin a phrase you use often to access it quickly in the future. You can also save or share this translation. Use these tabs to change how your content is input. You can select voice and choose the microphone to say the content aloud and it will be translated for you. Choose image to insert an image and the words on that photo will be translated right onto the image. This can be saved and shared as well by using the ellipsis. Choose ink if you'd like to handwrite your content for translation. If you choose history, you can access all recently translated items or your pinned translation. The conversation tab will allow you to join or begin an audio or video conversation and the conversation will be typed out in your preferred language here. Lastly, you can access the phrasebook that has commonly used phrases in your selected language. It will provide you with a written translation as well as the phonetic spelling of the word to help you pronounce it in an audio call if needed. As Microsoft continues to bring you new and innovative ways to keep us connected, we will continue to highlight these new applications and features for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.